Hello everyone, once again Chris England here doing another trailer re uh, opinion video. This time we're going to be doing some, catching up a little bit on the backlog of trailer videos that I have. So we're looking at the potentials of Wizards. Special Heroes to Battle. We first start with the Spirited Sorcerer. We finally have a yet another Nino alt. So, so far, and this also means that we now have the third separate color for her set. We first have her two greens, then her winter blue, and now finally her uh, Cadane's uh, red as a red tome infantry drawn this time by Mia, uh, Sakura Miwabe. And then also voiced again by Kana Yuki. So, uh, Noel or Asier Silva from Black Clover. We have Super Creek from Uma Musume, and then Yorktown and Yukikaze from Azur Lane. So one thing that I will note is that this is a very nice light coloring for both the outer and inner capes, as well as the kind of uh, semi-transparent elbow sleeves that she's wearing, and then the cute compass, the cute little pocket watch that she has. <laughs> So as a she has movement like a cavalry. So first off, we're gonna repeat glimmer. We're gonna repeat attack speed finish. We're gonna repeat speed preempt. So this is the second or third second unit that has speed preempt. We have a brand new four that is being time pulse four. So what's gonna happen is it is copycatting what time pulse three does. In addition, it's gonna be a after battle, she gets a additional one. But probably, as as is the usual case, we we have her child's compass as a very good weapon. First off, we're going to start with the, of course, cooldown count minus one, and then at the start of comp, start of the turn, if her HP is at least twenty five percent or greater, she gives herself the, uh, what I like to call the no penalty movement. So she can, so she does not suffer any kind of movement penalty while moving, as well as a movement plus one. And then during combat, under the same HP condition, she gets, gives herself Spectrum plus five, and then she buffs additionally her speed and speed and attack based on how many bonuses she currently has times four, with a max being 16. So automatically right off the bat, she gets a plus eight to her stats just because of the no penalty movement and movement plus one. And then if she triggers her uh, attack special during combat, she, she reduces any kind, oh no, she takes 50% less damage from the foe's next attack and that's even if she de deals zero damage so one of the big things is that she's got a kit that's very focused on hot very fast special usage she's got a s automatically just based off of the having three a uh, an ally within three spaces and 25 percent of her hp in addition to just having ba the basic two conditions that is automatically a very, very beautiful number. Right there, it's plus 20. And that can go higher up to plus 28 with the maximum D being that 16. Uh, the other thing too is that the only ways for players to deal with her is by having a hardy bearing, unless you wanna go range one. The other good thing too is the fact that she comes with another tier four skill. So we're still waiting on a couple of tier fours, but her unit, the other thing too is the fact that these two are bonuses, which will come up later in the discussion of this trailer. And we copycat something similar to Giga Excalibur. Next, for our green unit, we have the Royal Blue Crow. So 
So we have Ursula. Surprisingly enough, she's dressed very scantily like her summer alt. But this time actually looks a little bit more like it could blend into the shadows, albeit with the crystal being something outside of that. So beautiful artwork by Rika Suzuki. We have her as a green toned cavalry. So once again, we do not have a repeating weapon. And then, of course, we have Kaori Mizuhashi. So Kugishinobu from Genshin Impact, Essex, once again, from Azur Lane. So you could support them and have the Yorktown Essex combo. And then also Laharo from the Disgaea series. <laughs> So once again, we have Panic Smoke 4, so she's very focused on giving deep, as many debuffs as possible. She also comes with uh, Chill Speed Res as a new, brand new Tier 3 dual skill. We also have the Moonbow, but once again, we're going to talk mainly about her Crow's Crystal. So once again, copycatting the cooldown count minus one as that we always see. And then under the uh, same starting turn conditions, she has that... Uh, no, no pe movement penalty, desperation, and dominance. So basically what we're seeing, and then as a, during combat, if she has the same 25% or higher HP, she gets attack speed plus 6 and nullifies any effects that deny her follow-ups. So one thing that will be probably notable is that she can effect effectively want run Wind Sweep, but she is a magic unit. Wind Sweep units are not necessarily necess needed for distant counter builds or to deal with them. Now, the other thing too is that she comes with three separate bonuses that she can pass on to another unit as a possibility. Once again, I will talk about that later. She also gives her... Gives herself after combat the uh, faux faux penalty doubler skills, so, or at, at least other units. So that is again a fourth skill that she can copycat. Now, once again, this is one of the we've out, finally swapped back to having a unit that has at least one um, yellow rimmed skill, so a tier four or a dual tier three as opposed to what we had last time with Elm being just having threes. And once again, this is a very good surprising kit where the only thing you're needing is maybe Swift Sparrow 3 or something that this banner did actually introduce as well. But for now, I believe the ba best thing just is the fact that she has two skills in her weapon that's actively do synergize with each other and then one of her weapon skills synergizes with her b skill very much like her base form she fires lightning our four star focus is going to be the font of learning We have male Byleth. So finally, we have a little bit more evenly split in terms of the genders with the only thing we're missing is either a duo or brave for Bra for male Byleth. And the interesting thing is that he's only wearing shorts. While I understand that this is a desert themed banner, he's only wearing shorts. So we have a blue tome infantry drawn by Azusa, and then you all know it. It's Yusuke Kobayashi, it's Zell from Interspecies Reviewer, it's Senku from Dr. Stone, and then also Subaru from ReZero. However, I question the use of green sand. So unlike a lot of cases where we see very, very poor choice, very neat, in need of swapping out skills to make the unit good his kit is actually very 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 
good for what it is. He comes with uh, speed res finish three. So another, and this is his four star skill. So once again, we have a good four star focus unit to pull. His five star is once again a low speed res. He comes with his sublime heaven from his legendary form. So he de deals a bonus of 25% of his attack. And then if he is facing a dragon or beast, that 25% becomes 50%. And then also he's nullifying, ignoring any effects that, any non-special effects that reduce damage by XX percent. So, but we also have his weapon, the guide guides hourglass. So once again, cooldown count minus one. At the start of turn, two if he's within two spaces of an ally, so no HP, but instead two spaces, he gives himself the no penalty movement and dodge for the turn. And then if he initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, he gives himself spectrum plus five and tempo. So he nullifies any effects that uh inc that give cooldown uh cooldown charge pluses to foes or minus cooldowns to him and then also he offers a basically what it is is he offers a joint spec joint drive spectrum for his tome where the only difference being that his is plus five what he offers is plus four so once again we have a good example of Another, like Summer Claude way back when, we have a unit that copycats what his what the Legendary di version did, only a little bit different in terms of what they're offering. So he copycats the Legendary Biolist Subl Sublime Heaven. He has the finish just to buff, buff his own damage, and then he has Lull to nullify any bonuses. His weapon just gives the uh, null penalty, the, no uh, movement penalty as well as dodge meaning that he's going to be very very fast and very very focused on being that fast have so in his weapon he has the dodge he has tempo and then he has a form of a joint drive skill he also has a two countdown spe special that's only limited to him. So once again, the thing that I would probably recommend in his C skill is some form of a joint drive. Probably joint drive speed would be my top choice just because that offers him more utility with his dodge as well as just gives him more chances to uh, double hit so he can activate the Sublime Heaven. Uh, the other option too is to, if you're willing to fodder a, a Ascended Tiki for the uh, rank four, that's definitely a possibility. If you only have the one and you haven't gotten that one to uh, 8,000 hero merit, I would not recommend it just because the other option too is you can probably, you can definitely swap out this uh, finish skill for something that's a little bit more able to do something. Like you could give him attack speed ideal for, and then also in his uh, C skill, give him oath to make him so that he can teleport. But all in all, a very good base kit for a four-star focus unit. And then we have the holy version of the Crest of Flames Whirlpool. Now on to our harmonic unit. So we have Bound by Fate. So we have Linde with her support unit being Sarah. So once again, this is a very good banner for all the five stars as they have been waiting for a long time with no alt specifically. Uh, so we have a very interesting dual uh, globe situation with their weapon and very, very nice flow of the art. Granted, Linde always looked really good because she was a mage studying in Kadain. But we we finally have Sarah as a unit that showed up not necessarily as a separate unit, but a support unit. So 
So what we ha start with in this case as a red tome cavalry drawn by Horiguchi Kosei, we have Asan Asumi Seto. So Kujo Sara from Genshin Impact. We have also Raftalia from Rising of the Shield Hero. And then we also have, I believe it's also Kugi Nobara Kugisaki from Jujutsu Kaisen. For Sarah, we have Yuko Ono. So Momoransi from Epic 7. And then I really can't, I believe it's uh, Maya Zemt from Misfit at Demon Acad the Demon Academy. Unfortunately, she's a much more a much newer voice actor, or she's done had a gap. Either that, or I just don't recognize many of her roles. So we have once again Defense Res Smoke Three, so offering herself a Pathfinder skill. We have a a return of the Speed Res Far Trace, our new oddly reversed image skill is remote sparrow so if she initiates combat she gets attack speed plus seven and she reduces the first the foe's first uh attacks damage by 30 percent to me this feels like a little bit too plain of a skill as opposed to like surge sparrow where it heals you if you hit and great this is another case where it actually has to be an initiate so we have luna for her special and then we have the Celestial. So once again, cooldown count minus one. We have the, at the start of turn, if unit is within two spaces of an ally, she gives to herself and all allies within two spaces the null penalty movement skill as well as null follow-up skill. So a joint hone ability that gives two separate bonuses one is actually one being null follow-up very good then we also have her if she initiates combat or was it is within two spaces of an ally she gets spectrum plus five deals an additional 20 percent of her speed as damage and if she and she also reduces any non-special skills that reduce damage by half we've seen this a couple of times we the most recent one that I can remember seeing it on is going to be uh, Fire Festival Moose Spell, but the but we also saw it on Valentine's Duo Leaf Lift and uh, Thrasier. So one thing that I will say is that that this means that her speed becomes very important because it's a it's a buff to to her damage. Of course, I wouldn't recommend it over attack in general. She also the half cut of damage reduction is definitely a nice thing but the biggest thing is again going to be her uh joint hone ability at the start of turn i think the questionable thing that i will admit for this one is the remote sparrow remote sparrow i feel like the damage reduction feels a little bit redundant especially if you're hitting very hard with what her weapon offers and then if you've also added a new turn another turn to her What'll then happen? What you then can happen is that she can just use her the dam the damage buff that she gets originally. I think the other thing I dislike about this this harmonic, as well as some cases of harmonics in general, is that there are no units for Linde to proc off of her harmonic ability, which I'll, which should be coming next. <laughs> Looks like Aura. And then we have for her harmonic skill, which is of course going to be anything from the Shadow Dragon series, as well as Thracia. She gives Resonant Blades, Dodge, and then cooldown cool down count plus one per attack to all any allies, as well as herself. So this is a very, very good skill to be only a once per map skill.
Oddly enough, sounds very bored, but that's who probably she is. And then we have our story for the Sage of Kadain. And then as for our Tempest Trial Unit, which is another repeat, we have Soren, the Winds of Tradition. It's drawn by Senna, voiced by Ayumu Murase, so Venti from Genshin. We have Irum, uh, Iruma Suzuki from Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun. And then, of course, probably the one that I pro probably know better is Hinata Shoyo from Haikyuu. So we have his Magical Lantern, which is the start turns two spaces, if there's an ally within two spaces. No, uh, no penalty to movement for... So treat everything as if it was just flat land. And then also a the cooldown count plus one per attack. So basically copycatting off of Lin's harmonic skills to the last portion. And then if he either attacks or is within two spaces of an ally, attack res plus five. Very good for a just a, the only plus weapon. He also has Glacies. As a four-star skill, he has attack res form. And then his five is going to be infantry breath. So any f any allies within two spaces, if their foe if the foe initiates combat, plus two to defense and res and cooldown count charge plus one per attack. So I really can't say much about Soren's kit. I he does actually offer some very good skills in general to what he just what he offers for what he has. He's a very decent blue mage infantry unit. And then of course skipping to the fact that I will point out also that we do not have colorless for this banner. We have two reds. We have the blue being the four star focus. We have a green and then our free unit is blue. So once again I'm actually going to point to the fact that because so one thing that I will, so for pretty much anyone who understands this one, uh, Kadain is in a desert. So for those who have not had the pleasure of playing any desert maps or just warped before that one, these are the maps that effectively hit anyone but mages. Mages can walk freely among sand. Infantry units and cavalry units especially have their movement reduced. And I'm ignoring flying because they have no metal movement penalty whatsoever. So we have two horse units who are gaining a bonus that says they do not, they have no, that the, the any kind of penalty to movement is ignored. We have three mages who fit the theme very well for uh, Kadane's desert theme. However, since we don't have any kind of, since desert doesn't affect movement in this game, we have the uh, plates that slow down cavalry and forests which slow down infantry. Sadly, this does not no negate any abil inability to move across forest for cavalry and it really doesn't help armor units or flying units so realistically this is a very narrow set of skills so i will say that nino's kit is definitely one of the better ones since you can actually inherit two skills from it at once that being time pulse four and speed preempt there's plenty of units that actively have time pulse three it's also the fact that she just turns herself into a um Cavalry unit with the plus one movement, and in L she is allowed to move beyond trees. And then the bonus also stacks with her skills. Ursula was probably my top pick just because of that panic smoke and then the um, new chill chill three skill her but her weapon offers the most out of everything in terms of number of skills on base since she offers three in there so the ignore pe pedal terrain penalty the uh desperation and then the dominance so i mentioned at the start of this banner that there's a unit that's gonna be very happy to have this and that is faded by honor crom the uh brave edition of crom because his special 
will copycat any bonuses that he uses his, his assist skill on. So that means that if you're using Nino, in addition to all of the facts that we have the no penalty, the ignore terrain penalties, she, he becomes moving four spaces with Ursula, he gets dominant, desperation and dominance. With Byleth, copycats the dodge. With Soren, he's going to copycat the that cooldown count plus one, cooldown charge plus one per attack. Sadly, though, Lind also automatically offers that null follow up ability, so she doesn't offer any. She only offers it by herself without having to do any kind of uh, messy kind of thing. So that means that you can actually pump him up a lot more with these units. Definitely without having to do, to spend any kind of like bonus resources. You can also move uh give one of these units the bonus doubler and movement plus one from Astrid's support Astrid's Damiel's bow weapon, and then copycat that with Chrom to make him even more dangerous. I'm gonna say this right off the bat. While Lynn's kit is very nice, I feel like it's a little bit lackluster for a harmonic. I think that her her real bonus is the fact is what her harmonic skill actually makes up for. Um, her weapon is very good. The fact that she comes with the Pathfinder def defense res smoke as well as another trace skill. But once again, I'm going to point out that I feel like Remote Sparrow, even though they gave a good example of it being a poor choice, a a very a something that actually kept her alive. Most cases with these types of glass canyons, you don't really require damage reduction. All that you re really require is just enough damage to punch through. So possibly trading this out for life and death four would might work. Uh, don't forget that she also gifts dodge if she uses her harmonic skill, and then also she's reducing damage anyways from by half or reducing damage reduction by half. So damage buff, damage reduction. Spectrum buff uh, can't do any, can't mess with her follow ups, uh, ignore terrain penalties, minus whatever, minus the uh, speed and res from the opponent. She's a very good unit. I think the best one probably is Nino, just because her kit feels like she, it feels like she can be one of the big things, differences between Nino and Sarah is just the fact that she can work on her own. She doesn't, the only thing that's going to be turned off with her. Being alone is her special, her finish skill. Once again, Byleth is one of the examples where, even though he's a force, is one of the rare examples of being a four-star focus, yet a very good unit for what he's worth. Just because his weapon adds dodge, he gets tempo in his weapon, he gets uh, the joint drive, a, a form of joint drive. He has his... Uh, exclusive spell from his legendary form and then just on the base he can inherit the uh speed res finish four without having to ex ex extend the entire uh sacrifice of tiki then we come to soren in this case soren i feel like once again he's a good unit it's the, he's definitely held back by the fact that his weapon is a plus instead of a uh prf but again, and also the fact that his inf the infantry breath that he offers is not a this four star skill instead of being his instead of being the five star skill or five star tier three, because that's a skill that we haven't seen very often and as much in and we already have uh, what Halloween Sophia offering the attack res form as her four star skill. So thank you very much for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you find that you enjoy my content, feel please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you and have a nice night.